on the previous video I extracted data from these forums to these three tables and kept the relationship between this data the same way it is in the in the forums for instance this I number one ID here corresponds to these number ones and these items here are the items inside the announcements so we have a hierarchy here uh, what I'm going to show you now is how to export this data to any kind of document um, what I'm going to create is a hierarchic XML that is going to reflect the hierarchy in these two tables I'm not going to use the content table but first I'm going to show you very quickly how the export feature works I'm going to export only the top level table by clicking on the generate custom export template and this is going to generate a basic default template that if I run I'm going to get an XML with the data that is inside the top level table now this doesn't have to be an XML, this can be anything I want this does have to be an XML because it's a format of the template let's see uh, we have the body element here which is the container of everything we're going to export this black text here is just literal text this XML version is this XML version here this LT which is sounds uh, less than outputs this and this GT is stands for greater than outputs this you can find this information in any XML tutorial I'm going to erase all these literal text so you can see only the elements the XML elements that are used in this template okay there is no text here if I go ahead and export this I'm just going to get data right there is no formatting at all now the query element what it does is select the table or the source actually you can put you can put a join query SQL query inside here that's actually what I'm going to do in a little bit then this expand item is telling helium scraper to repeat whatever is inside this expand uh, as many times as there are rows in here so if for instance I put any random stuff here and press play you're gonna have it one two three four five six seven times you have seven rows here then the insert element inserts the current value of whatever column you specify here so let's put for instance this is going to be literal text so after ID we're going to insert the value of the column ID we have a formula here that we don't really need for now and then here I'm going to insert the link or I can call it name if I go ahead and export this then you have the ID number one name announcements just like this here so this is basically how this works. Now I'm going to do something a little bit more complicated. I'm going to use this quick data view feature again that I showed you in the previous video. Uh, when I drop more than one table, uh, Helium Scraper is going to detect the hierarchy in here. Helium Scraper knows that these these items are child items of these items. 
So when you create the, um, you generate. Notice that this is not the same as the one I used before. This is just a plain one level. This this is going to generate a one level template. This this is going to generate a multi level template. Here there are two expands. This expand contains this expand right here. If I if I just export this you can see that you don't have the announcements repeated as this you only have one announcement and then inside this you have each of the items inside and then you have the premise so these items are child items of these top items um, this is happening because you have nested expands what this expand do is I want what this expand tell is I want to repeat the content inside this expand which is all this I want to repeat all this as many times as unique top level links you have so you have one two three unique top level links which are one two three it's going to repeat it three times this is one two and three right here but then this expand inside is gonna be repeated for every middle level links which ID corresponds to this this is why if you have one two three four five six seven items seven middle level links inside announcements you have you're gonna have also these one two three four five six seven items inside announcements here and these are the ones that corresponds to this one as you can see here the source is an is an SQL join this is joining on the IDs this was generated by helium scraper whenever you press this button uh, I'm gonna play a little bit with this and I'm gonna do a few changes uh, let's say I want I don't want this to be an item but I want this to be an attribute inside this item if you know a little bit about XML you'll know what I mean if you don't uh, well you can at least see how you can manipulate this and change the result so what I'm going to do is take this insert which export which outputs the top level link and put it right here if I do this uh, ok I forgot the equal sign I get this so now it's an attribute in the items now I can I can change these items to something like uh, link and I wanted to change this one too so we have link this is this should be ID this should be actually name Okay, link name equals this, link name equals this. Now this, I don't want to have items, items, and then this. I just want to have this. So, I'm going to remove this. And remove this. What is it? This doesn't need to be here, yeah. Okay, that's better. Now I can also put this as an attribute of this, since we know that you only have one name per item, it can it can just be an attribute. So I'm going to call this topic uh, name equals 
this. I'm going to erase all that. And it's going to be a single element. It's not going to have an opening and closing element. So it will look like this. Uh, if you see this amp here is escaped that way because I'm using the format as XML text here. When you format as XML text, uh, the amp, this symbol right here, the ampersand gets escaped like this. Now this is a problem, right? Because I'm I'm I'm, I'm formatting an XML text. I actually should export as XML attribute. Same as here. No, that's better. Let's get escape. So really, the easiest way to figure this out which is by playing with it. You can also find some more information in the documentation in the custom export section. Here are all the items, all the elements and what they do.